this is Justin and Max Games and we're going to be doing a review of Planet Defenders now you may be wondering why we have other games in front of us if we're going to be reviewing Planet Defenders and that's because there are games that if you like other things you might really find this one interesting too and what I also wanted to show in this game was that although it is very original and interesting and I like this game a tremendous amount, you could see that it also has a heritage in other games as well. Mm -hmm. if, such as such Istanbul. As Istanbul. Because one of the main concepts of Planet Defenders is that there's different tiles around the board they have to move different characters to to do the action and they're random. And that is the same sort of idea with Istanbul. In Istanbul, and also in Planet, Planet Defenders. Defenders, the setup of the board is always different. And with the same center. With the same center, exactly. And, and here it's like that fountain one, and in here it's that home planet, the one that doesn't have a, uh, a specific... Um, resource generator. Yeah, resource generator. You could get whatever you want. The thing about Istanbul, though, is that when you're moving around, um, you leave things you're leaving things behind, but you could only move one or two, and you're, you're always moving your guy. And these, it's and you're oh you're not moving anyone else. And in Planet Defenders, you can move one of the three or multiples if you have enough battery. Everyone is sharing the same people. Now that's why I wanted to also bring out this game. This game you're not familiar with. You I haven't have played Why. The thing about Istanbul, you although yeah, I guess you you can say that you're spending, you know, your friends or your family members as you're moving around the board. You're not re spending really a resource. And it's a very interesting thing. In the game Hawaii. You also have a modular board with different tiles that always show up every game, similar to Istanbul, similar and to Planet, Planet Defenders. Defenders. This one does not have a center. Uh, but in this game, you have to spend uh, footprints in order to move from one tile to the next. So you have to spend a resource, and but everyone has their own person. So it, it's similar to Istanbul. You're moving your guy. And you get to do... And in, uh, in Istanbul... Wherever you land, you get to do that thing. In Hawaii, wherever you land, you get the option of buying something. Now let's get to and our game. This one actually is a combination of those two things. It's a combination of the because two things, yeah. Because where, where you move, you can either get something from that action, and then at the end of the turn, you can buy something based off of where you are on the board. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's a really interesting combination. The other thing is that this game is small. Yes. It's easily portable. There's not that many parts, and I really like mm -hmm. that. Now, we have a disclaimer that in this video... Mm -hmm. um, we painted our guys. We painted our guys. It comes with three different characters. This... Uh, and of good, these just came as a plain color with this really beautiful standee, this clear plastic standee, so that, and then um, we painted them so that it looks like the cover. We're not the best miniature painters, but at least it looks pretty cool. And so there you go. That's what he looks like. It kind of looks like a duck a little bit to me. And then you have this cool blue guy, and he's also on a standee, and you have this red guy, and he's got kind of this... Um, vacuum cleaner outer space vacuum cleaner so we painted him there but to be honest in the game they are all the same yes it's they just don't where, have any, it's just where they are just where they are they're they're three iterations of the same function not one one of them doesn't have an ability that another one doesn't have which would be cool oh yeah that's a, an expansion to planet defenders where everyone gets a thing Shoot. now the game really is a balance between um these cards which are, you can purchase at the end of your turn. You could either try to purchase a card, which gives you a bonus advantage for subsequent turns, or you, if you have the right resources... Buy a robot, you which can, will give you points and some resources back. Right, it gives you a reward. And then these are also set collection for the six different colors. That's the issue. In a game like Istanbul, you're getting rubies. That is your ultimate goal. You're not, everyone is going after the same thing. In Hawaii, you're trying to create your own community. Uh, in this game, it's you're going to set of collection things. of different things. You're going for robots, and you're having to spend, similar to Hawaii, you're having to spend these batteries to move, to move the guys and around. And you're spending resources to buy the thing. And they're very I, by the cool. Way, these are amazing. I love these guys. I haven't seen them in another game. They're big, chunky, ice cube color, Clear colored cube. cure. Yeah, and they're, they're, they're easy to handle. 
And all of the spaces, all of the places that you get to go, will give you, there's, again, there's information on every tile that you go to see. There's only nine of them in the game. There's one in the center, and then one, and then one's all around. Three on the top, three at the bottom, and, and two on either side. Some of them, the pictures correlate with what you get, like, especially this one, is because if you get, get rid of one resource and an energy, you get the rainbow you get the rainbow the and so you get the rainbow and the clouds have the rainbows you get all three mm -hmm. so you're always give this one you're giving up to get something this one you get the green resource and an energy because mm -hmm. it's a green planet blue resource and an energy and orange ish brown resource right and this and tile energy. um this is an interesting one uh, this one's a little bit like the post office in Istanbul. Again, for those, Istanbul is a very, a very well-known game. Planet Defenders, I think, should be a more well-known game. So to make a comparison, this is a little bit like the post office in Istanbul, where when you go there, you get something, and then the next time it someone goes there... It's identical to the post office. It, in a lot of ways. The same cycle. You, yeah, this one goes around. You get someone, the next person that goes here gets something else. Also in, uh, Istanbul, there's the gambling room. Which is this. Yeah, here, again, you get to roll a die, and in Istanbul... You get uh you you get a certain amount of money or something like oh no you you can get like blue gems you get money whatever you get in there and eventually you might even get a gem if you get a high right you get those a blue in this game you roll the die if you go to the gambling then planet then you can either get two energy an energy and a resource cube or two resource cubes and the resource cubes are what's going to get you the robots the energy cubes keep you moving around the board and it also is a way of getting those or bonus think, cards are they technically batteries. The batteries, yeah, these are the batteries. Yeah, those are technical batteries. They're called batteries in the game. So, you know what we're talking about if you're reading and the instructions. The art is very cute and clever, like the desert casino in out of space, outer space. And also, you'll notice that in the corner, each of the planets has this little icon, which correlates to certain of the... So this one is the gem planet, if you show a gem one. Yes. There we go. So this is every time you go land on a gem planet, you get an extra battery cube. And you have to keep, that is one thing, you have to keep track of what is going to be your most economical move. Which character you're going to decide to spend batteries on because you get only, and then it flips at the end of the turn. And you can't land, unlike like Istanbul and Hawaii, You more than one player can be in one area. In Istanbul, you have to pay a dollar to that person or something. In this one, no two robots can be in the same place at the same time, except for the very beginning of the game where everyone starts in the middle. So you might be blocked off from something that You're you like, want. I want that. So then you got to move that guy, then spend two more batteries to move the other Right, yeah, it, the order of actions you take. And then you get this handy-dandy card. Handy-dandy. That This little tile, and this is basically your tile, and it's it shows you... It's a player aid. It's a player aid as well as... a. So at the top, you can ke you can keep as many batteries as you want. At the bottom, for your resources, you can keep a maximum of five. At, at the end of your turn. At the end of your you turn. You can have more, but then spend it. And then at the end of the game, for as many uh, different um, upgrade cards, the ones where you're trying to get a special power, so if you, have you can at get least some points. Five, you get six points. Mm -hmm. and, and they could be. They can even be very similar. Or even and the then same. with the robot cards, you're trying to get different colors. There's red. Try to play it a little bit. Yep, there we go. There's red, blue, purple. Now what? Now let's go back to these because okay, so like this one's one point because it only asks you for a couple of orange cubes and then you get something. But there's going to be a bunch of these guys that can come out and they won't always, even though they will always be one point, they're going to ask you for different things. So don't expect always to have the same one come out at the same time. There we go. Okay. That one asks for and two green cubes. This is personally my favorite one. Oh, even, you have a favorite robot? Mm -hmm. Even though it's not blue, which, by the way, is the best color. Max likes blue the most. The best art. I like purple the most. Is the frog pod. He likes the frog pod. Is that the name in the game, or you just gave it? I frog just gave pod. it. It's a frog pod. It's, it's got a, a frog pod. With a frog in it. Uh, it goes pretty fast. I would say we played a three-player game, and it went for about 40, 45 minutes or so. Um, and I've never played four in this game. I've played two a bunch of times with mom. I played three with some friends, and then we played three with you last night, and you won. Mm -hmm. Big surprise. Um, but uh, the the totals are not going to be huge. You're going to, at the end of the game, it's not like one person's going to have 75 points, another one's going to have 35. Everyone's in the teens to 20s, typically speaking. Yes. A low score would be maybe 12 to 13 to 14, and a high score is going to be the upper 20s. 
So your your every point that you can eke out in the game is going to be in a it, yeah it, it definitely counts. Since the the whole universe in which you're doing this is rather small, you're moving around this small space. You're not having to worry about oh how many moves it's going to take for me to get from here and there. Mm -hmm. um, and by the way, the insert mm -hmm. is totally functional. They have a nice space for the die. And they have a nice kind of way that the cards go in. The instructions are extremely clear. They have a whole glossary on the back of what all the various different, um, what do they call them? Technology cards. That's what the term is, technology cards. What the technology cards are worth. And the iconography is very easy to remember what the icon. It's not one of these complicated, you look at something and you're like, eh. It was a circle with a triangle in the middle and it was an arrow going up. What does that mean? Very, very easy to understand. Um, this, to me, I give it a solid seven. And you we're, give it a solid seven? I'm a solid seven. Yeah, I'll always I'm, pull out this game. It's fun. It's easy. It's light. I'm actually going to give this game. Mm -hmm. I, I actually really like it. You like it a lot. I'm going to give it an eight. You give it an eight. So I think seven and a half is going to be a fair one. Um, I, I, could, I could actually even... Yeah, I, I'll go seven and a half. I'll go seven so and a half. Seven point... 7.75? Yeah, 7.75. I'll go 7.5 on it. 7.75 so that... is the Justin and Max um, rating of Planet Defenders. <laughs>